Hi everybody, could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. Researchers at the University of Queensland have published the results of an experiment which they say simulates time travel. The experiment used photons to simulate what it might look like if quantum particles traveled through what are called closed time-like curves, or CTCs, theoretical pathways through space-time that end at the same point in space where they begin, but at an earlier point in time. The existence of CTCs was first proposed in 1949, when Kurt Gödel proposed them as part of a solution to Einstein's field equations. It's important to note that no actual time traveling was done here. The point of the study was to model how matter might behave were it to travel through a CTC, and to provide insights that may prove valuable in the formulation of a theory of quantum gravity one of the most sought-after objectives of modern theoretical physics. Speaking of time, an international team of computer scientists has created an algorithm that enables a computer to tell whether time is moving forward or backward. You and I would be able to tell whether a video clip we were watching was running backward or forward by drawing on our experiences and our understanding of how things move, but a computer has no such understanding. The question was, could an algorithm be written that would enable a computer to correctly judge which direction the arrow of time was pointing, so to speak, in a given snippet of video? The answer to that question was yes, at least for the most part. The team's most successful algorithm allowed the computer to correctly determine whether a video clip was being run forward or backward 80% of the time. As for potential applications for this study, the researchers see their work here possibly leading to more realistic computer graphics, improved signal processing, and perhaps most importantly, a more advanced statistically based understanding of causality. Plus, I kind of just think it's cool. Finally, we're all familiar with the concept of invisibility cloaks, which would render objects undetectable by our eyes. Now, a team of researchers is developing a material capable of hiding objects from our sense of touch. The material, created by researchers at the Karlsruhe Institute of Technology, prevents solid objects placed beneath it from being detected by touch. In the example seen here, a solid half-cylinder is at the bottom, covered by a precisely constructed polymer-based metamaterial. Were this cylinder covered by foam or some other more traditional material, its presence would be disguised to the touch, but still detectable with a bit of pressure. This so-called mechanical invisibility cloak, however, redirects the pressure around the cylinder in such a way as to make it completely undetectable to the touch. This research has not yet reached the practical stage, but possible eventual applications include lighter, more comfortable mattresses and carpet padding capable of completely hiding pipes or cables running underneath. One team of researchers simulates quantum time travel. Another writes an algorithm that allows a computer to tell which direction time is moving. And a third creates a mechanical invisibility cloak that makes objects undetectable to the touch. That's the good news. Would you like to continue your nap now? Okay, I think that's a yes.